Hey everyone, it's me and today is Monday and yesterday I did a car vlog and I asked you guys to ask me some questions. And I did get to answer a few, but not many. And so I thought I would just click on here today. I have not even looked at my Instagram since, I'm not one that checks it a lot. You can probably tell. Um, I probably haven't looked at it since, I don't know, maybe eight o'clock or so last night. So let's see what questions you have asked me. Um, I'm gonna start at the bottom. What's my favorite restaurant in Wilmington and what's my favorite meal there? Okay, <laughs> I'm not really like a foodie. Like I love food, good food, but I don't like a big array of things. And I, my favorite place to go is just like Mexican food, but my favorite restaurant is K38 and it's more like, you know what I mean, like Baja. Mexican food. It's not like, it's more, what am I trying to say? Um, Tex-Mex, kind of like that, I guess. And I love their chips and salsa. Both are homemade. And my favorite meal there is the, gosh, there's so many different things I love there. I love just a fajita, steak fajita quesadilla. I love the barbacoas. I love just a bean burrito and I get the lettuce and like salsa fresca on top. I can't do that as much anymore because my stomach's gotten so finicky. And what else do I, I love their, all their wraps, but that is my favorite place to go. Like whenever I'm meeting someone out for dinner, that's where we usually go. Okay, hi Lisa, do you still have your Rolex Submariner that your dad gave you? Such a great watch. I do not have it, I gave it, gave it back to him along with the winder just because I wasn't wearing it enough for it to be in here and me worrying about it because I do have someone help me clean and just the fact that it really wasn't mine I mean he let me adjust it to my needs and everything but I just would rather him have it and me not have to worry about it because I'd rather it be in a safe you know in a safe spot Oh gosh, um, if you could use only one eyeshadow palette for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my goodness, this is a good one. I'd have to say one of my favorite palettes is that NARS palette. I can't remember right now the name of it, but that is such a good palette. And um, maybe the Tarte, one of the Tarte palettes, either the Tartist or Tarte in Bloom. I would, okay, I'd say the NARS palette is, it are, is over those. Oh, goodness. Um, today I used the, I don't know how much you can see. I don't know if the lighting is very good. Looks like I'm kind of glowing. But um, today I used that new Tom Ford palette, and it is amazing. So I really do love that, too. Gosh. I'm trying to think. Oh, I love the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes, but... I don't think you can get those anymore. I don't think you can get number one anymore. And I'm trying to think of what palette do I take with me when I go out of town. And I know I've taken that NARS palette. I like the Friendcation palette by Dose of Colors. And some palettes I really like the colors, but they just have too much fallout and that gets on my nerves. So, Gosh, I'll be thinking, see if there's any other ones. But I think if I had that NARS palette, I would be pretty happy for a long, long, long time. Thanks for all you do. What is your best long wearing lipstick? Okay, let me think. I really like the long wearing lip, full cover lip glosses. I love the Kylie Jenner ones and I love the Stila, the Stila lip, long lasting lip colors are awesome. And what I do is I like to put one of the NYX butter glosses over it to just give it a little bit of shine, but they last all day. And like today I have on my Nude Sandals lip liner. That is one of the longest lasting lip liners ever, ever, ever. It's it's even better than like the MAC Pro Longwear because it's not as, <clears throat> it's a, because it's a sharpen and not a twist up, it just blends better, which I can't remember now. Are the Pro Longwears 
I don't know if they were twist up or not, but I just remember those you couldn't smudge out very much. This one you can, but it still lasts forever. And um, so I would have to say, if I wanted something just to last all day, I would use either this lip liner, the Lancome lip liner, or the Kylie lip liners are good. And I would use one of those two liquid lipsticks and I would put just a butter gloss over it. Hi Lisa, love your videos. Thank you so much for sharing great tips. May I ask you your current top spring lip combos and what are your favorite self tanners and body glows? Okay, no, no doubt about it. I love the new bronzer that I just got from Tarte. That body, face and body waterproof bronzer is beautiful. The Laura Geller bronzer is gorgeous. Vita Labrada is my favorite, favorite, like body makeup. My favorite tanner is still probably, I love that Josie Marin, like the liquid gold. I love that. And I'm still working on the tanners to see which ones I like the most. I really do like the Bondi Bay or Bondi Bay. Um, the gradual, if you want a gradual lotion, that one is amazing. And let's see, lip combos. I have been doing the peaches again. Like today I have on, I believe it's Coral. I can't remember if it's Coral Claire or Coral New from Laura Mercier. Both of those are good ones. I'll put the one that I'm wearing because one's a little bit lighter. I kind of like a yellowy peach you know with that's kind of bright and then i mix it with the brownish or cinnamon type lip liners and that just gives a good lip combo and then of course like today i've got on the bobby brown citrus lip gloss over it and i like buxom celeste and what else i've been loving the fit glow glosses too they're good Lisa, love your videos. What is your favorite look? Makeup, nails, jewelry, perfume, outfit, shoes. Like on a fun Saturday, what would you most like? Okay, my favorite look is either a black dress, simple black dress with spaghetti straps and some type of sandal or like flowy black pants, even some good yoga pants and a black cami or white. And I like hair down. I like nude or peachy lips, lashes, just a taupe eyeshadow with black or brown wing liner, coral blush, and let's see, perfume. Oh my goodness, I've been loving that new Dolce & Gabbana. Let me go put it on right now, hold on. Okay, you guys are gonna love that if you ordered it from the Sephora sale. I just put on one, two, three, four, five squirts, and I don't feel like I'm gonna gag or cough. But when it comes to you know lasting a long time, this one doesn't seem to last as long as like the House of Siage, that last one I got that has the pink top. Oh my goodness, that one is, it's kind of fruity, but yet it's a little bit stronger and it lasts a little bit longer, but it's more expensive, but I think you would only need like one, one squirt. So those two have been my favorites lately. And I do have a couple more on the way that are like beachy scents. Oh, nails, I have been loving these Kiss nails, loving them. Now they're looking kind of, see this is what they look like after about um, seven days. I think it was last Monday morning that I put these on and none of them have come off. This one raised up a little bit because this is the one that I take my Invisalign out with. I wear Invisalign at night, just my retainers. And um, Janelle, you gonna come up here? They're all freaked out because they're doing the landscaping next door. And um, so actually Chanel's been hiding. Now she's going on the back porch. But um, so I've been loving these kiss nails, but I do have some new nails that I'm gonna try. My friend Denise sent me. Okay, um, let's see if there's any more. Okay, how are you staying trim during quarantine? 
all this home cooking and drinking, I'm gaining COVID-19 pounds. Me too, me too. Matter of fact, today, I'm gonna say this, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run it by my mom first and see what she thinks. But I thought I would do just for fun and just to see how I like it. I might do, I weighed myself this morning, I haven't eaten anything. And I, I even took pictures. I may do lean cuisines. I only eat lean cuisines for one week and see what happens. And I'm going to limit myself to X amount of calories, which that to me, that's kind of like the, for one thing, being able to just fix something so quick, because that keeps me from going to get something. I don't know. I just, the, the convenience of it, Two, I used to eat Lean Cuisines long, long, long time ago when I lived by myself and I like a lot of them. And three, I like that you can literally count the calories without having to do a lot of guesswork or, you know, so I need to find out how many calories I want to stick to. I know, you know, right around 2,000 calories is the normal, you know, kind of like maintain your weight, but I know I want to go under that. So I'm gonna to talk to my mom about that and then I'm gonna make myself a little at home kind of exercise program. Like I love working out my arms. I've been slack on that. I can really tell, I could really see it in my video yesterday, which I do gain weight. You know, I lose it and gain it first, you know, kind of in my arms and you know, face and everything. It's the first to go. So anyway, I'll say that. And, um, but I want to set up like um, doing some planks, uh, lunges. I don't really like squats that much. I'm not really trying to build up my butt because I already have enough butt. But I do, I do like um, doing lunges and then doing some arm exercises and I'm gonna do the same thing every day and then look, take a picture and look at my weight and everything next Monday morning and see if it makes any difference just in one week. I just thought that might be fun to do. Oh my goodness, Beanie Smalls, you have asked me like the best question ever. And so many times I have wanted to get into this and it's such a touchy, anytime you talk about finance, politics, religion, or pets, it just seems like, you know, it just sets off like a firestorm of, opinions and everything but she asked happy sunday enjoy the time alone what would be your best advice on financial security and yesterday i even edited out a part where i kind of talked about that in my vlog because i didn't want to like stir up something because some of the things i said could be taken wrong but i am at we are at a really good place now and i would say that's one of the best things that i have learned throughout this quarantine with all of the uncertainty is that i'm so so thankful that we are not way in debt we barely have any debt at all and we just don't owe hardly anything we don't i don't have any credit cards I mean, we have some that we use, but we just pay them right off um, because like I use my Nordstrom card and then I just pay it off because I want to get those points. And, you know, I think he has one that he uses like to order vitamins and stuff with, but we just pay them off. And like I said, we built our house. He got his contractor's license and we built our house ourselves. And so we do not owe a lot on our house at all. My house payment is probably less than most anyone's rent, even for probably a one bedroom. And we just have been good about paying things off. And, you know, we've been here in this house for, I guess, almost probably 19 years. It, Brooke's 20 and I think she was one. So I guess I think July might be 19 years that we've been here and so you know of course who wouldn't like a bigger brand new house but i just do not want a crazy big house payment and it's just not worth it to me to just have a great big house you know what i mean our house is big enough it's 2,500 square foot which i know a lot of people have big 4,000 square foot houses and i, I would love that I say I would, but you know, 
more things, more maintenance, more problems, and it's just, this is just really, I don't know, this is just easy to maintain. And um, so that is the big thing, is not just getting bigger, bigger, bigger things, kind of work on paying things off. But what I will say is I have been in, I have done it the exact opposite way. The first time I was married, I was young, um, and my husband was my same age, and I think we were, we were 22 when we got married, and by like about 24 or five, he was making really good money, and I was making decent money, and we, just thought oh my gosh we are so rich so we bought a new house we bought new cars and we just were like living the life you know and but the thing i remember is having these big nice things but having just spending everything we made on those things and we never really had money we never really had just like lots of money sitting around, you know what I mean? That in case of an emergency or like we didn't have, you know, three months of house payments put in savings or six months or whatever you're supposed to have. And just that feeling. And then when things went bad and, you know, we were splitting up, you know, then the house payment gets behind and, you know, then I moved out and my parents said, oh, you need to move home. You need to move home and get settled. No, I couldn't do that. I had to move into an apartment. Then I was so broke, I could not even pay all my bills. I had to just like pick what bills I could pay and then which ones I could be late on and pay the next month. And then it just got, just spiraled out of control and I ended up moving home. And it was the best thing I could have ever done. It was just the probably the most peaceful, time of my life it was just the most thankful just pulling up in their driveway and smelling the smell of home and getting to catch my breath and kind of pay some things off and then before you know it I met John and he is just very good with money and not only does he make good money but he's good about um, you know not getting in debt and so that is my best advice. Pick all that you can from there. But I will say, you know, we haven't always had lots of extra money when we first had children. And I can remember, that was when you wrote checks all the time. I can remember, you know, once a week I would sit in his office and I would go through the copies of the checks and we would do the checkbook. And I mean, I can remember just, you know, having to ask him could I spend X amount of money or could we do this and this you know could we afford to go get mulch to do the yard and you know spend a lot of money in the yard or I would say I need to get you know birthday presents because you know when the kids are young you're constantly going to birthday events um, you know having to pay for dance and different things like that you know and it's not that we couldn't do it but we had to be careful about what we did and I just couldn't go buy just anything I wanted. But, you know, as the years go on, you know, I started make, working and making some money and then he ended up getting um, a promotion, a couple of promotions at work and then his salary goes up. And then, so what we did is, as we're both starting to make more money, we start not having any bills. So, say I made X amount of money, I would just pay off, you know, something. I don't even know. Maybe, um, you know, I don't know, anything. Just, and then as we make more money, we don't just go out and think, oh my gosh, we're making more money. We can go buy a boat. We can go buy a new house. We can go on all these elaborate trips. We just kind of stayed where we were and just paid everything off and started putting money in savings. And so now we're at a place where we can pretty much buy whatever we want. We could definitely, we, matter of fact, we went and looked at new houses. And just, it's just to compare what we have to what we could get for 
thousands and thousands a month more wasn't different enough for me and we're in a really 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 good school zone the best school zone and to really go to a place that I wanted to go was in a different school zone so but I'm telling you I, I think I have said it probably 10 times during this whole quarantine thing that I'm so thankful that we didn't go buy a new house because we're not sweating it you know what I mean and if I had if we had gone and bought a new house and had this two or three or four thousand dollar house payment I would be crying right now so it just that is my best advice is pay off everything and then enjoy having money to do things with having money to go you know fly wherever you want to and be able to fly first class you know what i mean it's just so much fun not having to be broke and not having to worry about you know how much you spend because you know that your bills are paid for so i hope that was you know i hope that you could get some advice out of that and i like dave ramsey i listen to him chanel can't stand it because she wants to be out here but she's scared so she keeps scampering through here but um, I would say Dave Ramsey is just such, every time I listen to him, I used to listen to him a lot in the morning on the way to take Will to school. And we kind of did like he talks about, like if you have, say you have five loans or bills or credit cards that you want to pay off, start off with the lowest one and then work your way up. And that's what we did. And then we'll, we will be completely debt free, except for my car lease, which that is kind of like the smarter thing to do when you get high-end cars and you want to trade them every couple of years like get a new car because then you save on the maintenance and you don't have to worry about the car depreciating and um so that's one of the reasons i do that and then john has a i think his truck is a couple years old and it's paid for and Brooks car is paid for so but i'm telling you just paying for cell phones and insurance and stuff like that is so expensive don't get yourself in a lot of debt. Just kind of make a game of it, of like paying things off and you know, get to where you feel good about it. And then after you get things paid off, you will be amazed at how much extra money you have. And like, say you have a job like John does, where he just has, he's gonna get a salary, no matter how hard he works, he's gonna get that salary. Do some extra things, like he does um, the stock market, he does Bitcoin, he has like a, little side business on the internet and do you know stuff like that to make extra money don't ever feel stagnant like say you're working um you know i've always i'm i've always been the person that like likes to baby i will babysit clean dog sit um you know when i was like a teenager i was always doing things to make extra money so that's how i am too i'm always looking for things to make extra money and so do some things like that, you know, especially if it's something that you love to do, say you love children, well then there's always gonna be someone out there that would love for you to help them, you know, once a week or something, babysit or something like that. Um, you know, I know I can clean, so I used to do that for a little extra hustle. Um, if you like pets, there's always gonna be someone that you can watch their pets or something when they go out of town. Um, if you like makeup and you're good at it, maybe you could start, you know, try to do some makeup on the weekends. Um, <clears throat> there was something else I was just thinking of that I know what it was. I have a friend who um, does kind of like, instead of babysitting, she does some house sitting and home sitting with an older lady's mom. So, uh, like, a, I think the mom is like in her late 80s and she goes over there and sits with her and you know gets paid to do that or just there's just so many little things that you can do to make extra money that i think is a thing to do i wouldn't just to me i would not sit around being broke i would find something to do where i could make some extra money so i think that is my best advice and i'm going to end on that i feel like i probably said too much i don't know i have to watch this back but um i don't have on anything special today i have on this little t-shirt that i did just get from um American Eagle, yeah, it's kind of like the American Eagle, soft and sexy or whatever. And then I have on just these um, Victoria's Secret joggers and my flip flops. I'm not going to do anything but maybe some cleaning today and loading videos. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for the questions and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.